Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with Heavy Metal with my buddy Tanner. He's got a YouTube channel, Chasing the Outdoors. Y'all go subscribe to him if you haven't already. But he brought out his CVA Cascade. If you guys watch the channel, you know I absolutely love the Cascade rifles. Mine's in 22 to 50. He brought out his 350 Legend and said I could take it for a spin. So I've brought out quite a bit of different types of 350 legend ammo i'll show you here in a second just to see hey which uh which ammo does this cva cascade like the best but we're going to take it back to 100 yards he's already sighted it in with some 180 grain ammo so we're not shooting for bullseyes but we're shooting for groups we're going to hold dead center and see what we can do with this cva cascade and 350 legend should be a whole lot of fun and he's going to be taking this thing out deer hunting this season right yes sir so 350 legend no he called me sir like i'm an old man or something i am getting old i guess but uh 350 legend definitely good enough to smack some whitetail no doubt about that uh go check out his channel if you want to see it in action no doubt he's going to take some whitetail with this this year so y'all go check out his channel if you want to see some of that but let's go back to 100 yards get right to the business and see what we can do with it he's got a three by nine uh, sight mark on here. Right. Definitely good enough for 100 yards. Let's go see what we can make happen with all this different type of ammo. Should be pretty cool. Give you an up close look at this cascade real quick. The biggest thing that I like about these is the trigger. But this one's got the veil camo just like my 22 250. They've got an awesome barrel. Come with a threaded barrel. I absolutely love the CVA cascades. But let me show you the ammo we're going to shoot quick. Some federal, non typical. 180 grain. We got some Hornady American Whitetail and 170 grain. Some Winchester 150 grain. And some Winchester 180 grain. And then last we've got some Bear Creek 160 grain. So a little bit middleweight, heavyweight. My 350 Legend likes this heavier stuff the best, but. Let's see what this one likes better. My guess is it's, it's probably going to like all of them, but it's probably going to like this heavy stuff the best too. But let's go back to 100 yards and just see what we can do with it. Slow down, squeeze the trigger good, and see what kind of groups we can get out of all this ammo out of the Cascade. All right, now we're back at 100 yards. It's going to try to make this quick, and we're just going to do all this ammo uh, and see which one this CVA likes the best. First is this... Uh, Winchester 150 grain. Let's shoot three quick and see how these do. These are those ones with those little points on them. Right. They look like they do pretty good. They look like they do good, but I've never had them group good, these uh, right. extreme points. Let's see what we get here. <clears throat> Hit a little high. Remember, he sighted this in with a a different ammo so we're not going bullseyes we're trying to get some groups here that one was a little bit closer to the center let's we'll see where the third one hits this uh this rifle's got a good trigger on it so uh that actually had those last two touching so I'm going to give that one another shot just to give it the benefit of the doubt, that cold barrel shot. Shoot a fourth one. Yep, uh, it pretty much put uh, those last three in the same hole. That's good then. Yeah, so but we got one good ammo putting them in the same hole. Next we're going to do the Federal Non-Typical. That's impressive right there. So. Yeah. Your rifle really likes those 150 grainers so far. Let's see what it does with these heavier ones. Mine, uh, 350 likes the heavier ones. They'll all take a deer, but I like it when they all are pretty much touching. Let's see what these do here. Oh, he's got it sighted in with some 180 grainers. That one hit the bullseye down there. That's good. A little bit right. So yours might like the lighter bullets a little better. How was that group? 
Oh, that one, none of them are touching, but still not a terrible group. Right. Now we're doing the Bear Creek 160s. These are probably the prettiest looking ones. Yours might like these too, because they're lighter with 160 grain. I can't wait to see you hit it here with this thing. All right, now Bear Creek three shots. See what the group looks like. <clears throat> All right, third one with the Bear Creek here. That was about an inch and a half group or something. So yeah. far, it likes those uh, 150s. Now let's do the uh, 170 grain Hornadies. American whitetails. See what these do. Ooh, I don't think it likes these at all. Eh, I take it back. It just put two in the same hole. Let me shoot a fourth yeah, one. That uh, first shot might have been me. Yeah, now it hitting the other one, so that one does not like the Hornadies. Right. Now the last one is the Winchester 180 grainers. So far the uh, 150 grainers are winning. Here's the heaviest Winchester 180 grain. Those are touching. Group? Those are touching. Those are all three touching, so uh, it really likes that ammo. Let's run down there and check out what we did there. I think it really likes two of them. All right, so walking up to our target here, there's the 150 grainers. Remember, we took four shots with this, so that's three in the same hole. That rifle likes that Winchester deer season 150 grain. Then we've got the Federal non-typical 180s. Not terrible. That's probably just over an inch group at 100 yards. Then the Bear Creek Ballistics, the 160 grainers. That's probably just under, that's probably inch and three quarters maybe. Right. Then the Hornady American Whitetail, it does not like this. 170 grain. We had two up here and then two down here. So pretty uh, squirrely group there out of those. I tried to give it the benefit of the doubt and shoot an extra one. And then the last one we did, the Winchester PowerPoint 180s, definitely cloverleafed. Both uh, Winchesters seem to do a little better. Yeah, the Winchester 150 and the Winchester 180. I would probably take these out hunting if it right. were me. But pretty, pretty good groups out of that one and that one. Definitely impressive anytime you can get them going in the same hole or at least cloverleafed at 100 yards. Appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate Tanner letting me take his 350 Legend for a spin. Like I said, y'all go check out his channel. But, hey, at least for my trigger finger, it likes those Winchesters. But, definitely, you guys know I'm a fan of the CVA Cascade Rifles. Let me get closer so you can see what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm a big fan of these. I have this exact same rifle in the 22 250 so if y'all haven't seen those, go check them out. But, I'm a big fan of CVA. This one has a sweet, sweet trigger on it. Breaks real light and clean straight out of the box. And I dig the camo. But any rifle that we can put three in the same hole or touching is impressive to me. But comment down below what you think about the CVAs. Are you a 350 Legend fan? Don't forget to go check out Tanner and subscribe to his channel. A big thanks to Heavy Metal. Y'all go down below and subscribe to Heavy Metal Paul too. Comment down below what you want to see next time. Appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.